one and all to the Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast. It is the Christmas season. I am the devilishly handsome outlaw, your king of extreme, Phil KOE. And I am in the giving mood to give to my indomitable broadcast partner here, the one, the only, the non-cop of friendly Tony fucking G. Yes. Now, we here at the Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast, there's been a bit of a disagreement between Tony and I. Tony is particular to Irish whiskeys and rye whiskeys. Well, I am particular to the craftsmanship of our fine brothers and sisters to the north in Canada. I believe they make the finest whiskeys that the world can offer. So, in the spirit of giving, in the spirit of compromise, I decided that I was going to go out and get you, Tony G, the single greatest rye whiskey that could be possible on the planet Earth or any other within the multiverse. Wow. I give to you, Tony G, Crown Royal Rye. I should have expected. I, what else could it have possibly uh, been? You are quite partial to the CR, I must well, say. What else is there? So <laughs> There's a couple other brands. Uh, just throw that out well, there. there are this some is other, a good one. There are some other Canadian whiskeys. I there am aware. Are, but in are. the spirit of giving, would you like to uh, take a little taste of this? Soup? I think we shall. I think it's time. I mean, it is... Easily the greatest rye whiskey ever. You know, I did see this. Uh, somebody had it on Facebook earlier today, and I thought, you know, that would be quite lovely to try. Oh, mm. great bag, too. Mm, Who doesn't yeah. love a good sack? Uh, it's round and the bag is closed. It's the only two qualifications having a good it's sack. It's not even wrinkled. <laughs> uh, in front of a live studio audience. We do audience. have a live studio audience tonight. Give us an applause, folks. They made that sound like there's way more fucking people. Oh, there. my <laughs> adoring public follows me, Tony. What can I say? The vast numbers of the KOE Nation it knew is. there was going to be a taste testing. They knew I was going to bestow such an amazing gift upon you, and they had to be here. So, it is much like studio wrestling give, where the audience is on one side of the building. <laughs> yes, like the old Dusty Rhodes promo. Yeah, it's a nice bottle. That's always a nice bottle. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. So I've heard three different reviews on this particular kind of uh, whiskey. Um, uh, one very positive, two... Uh, eh. It does smell good. I'll give you the first pour, sir. Thank it is you. your whiskey. Now, Tony's always been particular with scotch glass. When I do a uh, spirit of any kind for the first time, I prefer the uh, burgundy glass. It helps all the aroma just hit your nose perfectly. It's the same shape. It breathes just fine in this. And it smells very good, must say. All right. Jeremy has a really good rye that he, like, actually I think we have a bottle of it in the freezer if you need to compare. But, uh... Well, I'm it sure it won't excellent. compare to anything that comes from the blessed factories of Crown Royal. I mean, there's... Well, on that note, we should probably find out. Hmm. Good finish. Very good finish. Yeah, it's not overbearing, but it does no. stay on the tongue. It, it's got just enough bite to where you notice it, but it still finishes fairly smoothly for a, you can mix for a it, good bite. You can put it naked, you can put it on the rocks. I would All put this on the it. rocks for sure. Yeah, on the rocks would be the best with this one, actually. I usually don't mix anything with a rye. Just I, I like stuff neat. Now, I like stuff on the rocks. Are you catching... These were two notes that I read in reviews. The negative reviews. Uh, the most negative said it had like a toothpaste note. Are you catching any of that? Oh, that's probably just the numbness of your mouth once okay. you get the initial I, hit. I could understand how someone could get that, but it's not what I'm personally getting, and that's only being influenced because that's what I read. Anybody who's reviews. going to say that probably doesn't tend to drink a lot of whiskey neat in the first place, because you're going to get that numb mouth. It was with from, something this it was from a man harsh, after more you of your will. own heart, who's more pro, more a uh, more of a Scotch drinker than a Canadian whiskey drinker. Um, now, do you get any hints of cinnamon? That was the other I, yeah, I actually I do. I, you you do get a subtle sweetness. 
I wasn't going to say cinnamon, but yeah, you do get a subtle sweetness. Now yeah. I'd be thinking cinnamon, so... Yeah, I mean, that's the problem when you have other people's reviews influence your own, but this is not... Yeah, I can not... see why they'd say cinnamon, but it's, it's not too sweet. It's definitely not too sweet. So, Tony G, I hope you enjoy... I do. ...this I do. bottle of fine spirits to hopefully set you on the right path in whiskeys. <laughs> I, you know, I... I, I was afraid for you. You were starting to get off on the wrong path away from North America, and I needed to bring you back to, you know, Grandma and Apple Pie right, and such. Right. At least North America. At, well, at least we're on the right continent, then, so, I suppose. Oh, well, the, oh. before we go, since I did bring up studio wrestling, I thought, what better gift to get Mr. Phil KOE than your very own... Oh, guy. my God! Oh, my God! Jim Cornette presents Behind the Curtain Real Pro Wrestling Stories Sir You are a scholar and a gentleman And I don't even know What to say to you sir I thought this, you might enjoy it um, Gonna have a hard time presenting Any more videos tonight um, <laughs> Oh my goodness it's a full graphic novel Oh it's got the Andy Kaufman Saga in it oh my god Feels a big oh fan. my god, that, that's what got me into wrestling was Jerry Lawler hitting the pile driver on Andy Kaufman. Not once, <laughs> but twice oh, I was hooked. From Two five times. years old on, I was hooked. So, oh my goodness, this is T. <laughs> I do thank you, good Indeed. sir. That is, <laughs> as do I. So, as I am known to say around here, all that being said, folks, I am your king of extreme. It is the holiday season. It's going to be a holly jolly Jim Cornette and rye whiskey Christmas. I am handing off and signing off to my indomitable broadcast partner, Tony G. Thank you, fuck you, bye.